It's Dr. Victor Dominguez. I'm going to show you how to create order groups, which would allow you to more efficiently order labs, x-rays, instructions, anything that you'd like to order. Let me show you what I have in mind here. Go to the ACI. So here are my order sets that I've created myself. And within these order sets are a list of labs, x-rays, instructions that I've put in for each particular set here. So pretend I'm gonna use diabetes as the link diagnosis and I wanna do a diabetic panel. It would click on all of the items within that order group without me having to individually click each particular order. So it's kind of nice if you want to do a bunch of ordering on the spot just by clicking one time. So that's how order groups work. And it doesn't just necessarily have to be labs per se. As you can see, I have a health maintenance one here, which includes other elements such as mammogram, colonoscopy, immunizations, labs, etc. So just remember that order groups are not unique to just for laboratory. So how do you create an order group? I'll show you that right now. So in order to create an order group, first you have to be able to save the labs, the x-rays or the instructions as favorites. So all of these here are my favorites. So what I had to do was right click and then save it as my favorite. As you can see, it's checked off. Once it becomes part of your favorite list, then you can use that particular item and incorporate it into an order group. So here I have some existing order groups that I created previously. Right now, let's say I want to create a hypertensive order group. So what I would do is I would pick the lab that I want to include into that particular order group and I'd say organize favorites. And down here, I would choose new order group. It's going to ask you to name it. So I'm going to name it hypertension. So now I'm ready to create my hypertensive order group. So now I'm going to go to organize favorites. Here's the hypertensive order group that I just named hypertension. And I'm going to choose a variety of labs that I want to move into this particular order group. So I'm going to choose several here that I'd like to use. So I'm going to choose these four. I'm going to say co copy item, move into the hypertension order group, and I'm done. Here they are. So now in the future, when you're ready to use that particular order group, you highlight the problem click on the order group and there you go so it's clicked on all four of the labs that I moved into the order group now keep in mind that you can add other elements in here such as x-ray orders instructions using the same process that I just showed you so you would say for example go to instructions save these as your favorite right click it organize favorite click on the order group that you'd like to move it to and then it would move it into that particular order group. So you can do that for any element that you'd like to use in that order group. So it's kind of nice, make ordering more efficient and easy. And I recommend that each doctor create their order groups based on what they normally use for your patient care. And these are all, all individualized order groups.